now for 33 years. I was laid off from the Republic in 2008 where I was a staff photographer and went on to build a successful freelance business. But then in the fall of 2015, PetSmart Charities, who was my largest client, was dissolved and I was back to starting over once again. I'm thinking maybe it's time for me to look into something a little less stressful, just to take a break something that I enjoy. So I decide maybe I'll call my pet sitter and see about helping her out. Maybe she needs some assistance. And just to go and figure, she did. I went and shadowed her for a couple of days. And then I decided I was ready to start my afternoon rounds. I got my keys to the houses, addresses and instructions. And off I went to my first assignment. As I get there, I realize the keys are not well marked, and I have to figure out which one I should use to get into the house. Hmm, none of them are working. Let's start again. As I start to jiggle the keys once more, I feel this huge thump fall on my head. Ah! A snake literally <laughs> falls from the tree ahead of me, hits me on the head and the shoulder, and then slithers away. <coughs> it looked like it was a rattlesnake, but I didn't care because in front of me I saw two very angry Doberman pincers barking and snarling at me that I knew I was going to have to encounter in about 15 seconds. So I'm thinking major flesh wound here. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about this snake. Whew, okay. I happen to realize none of the keys are working, so I call the pet sitter who tells me then, oh, she forgot to mention, I used the code to get in on the garage. Okay. Go over, get in. Just so happens that these dogs are not very aggressive. Once they see me, everything is fine. I let them outside to go potty. I have a few minutes to recompose myself. <sighs> okay, this is all right. Then we decide, I decide it's time to go back in, get ready for my next stop. The door had locked behind me. I can't get back in the house. What do I do now? Okay. Go back around to the side. What was that code again? What was that code? Okay, I get in. Everything's fine. I think, okay, this was my initiation, my first time. The rest of the day is going to be super smooth. Right around the corner is my next stop. Get the key, go in. I see a young German Shepherd in a huge crate. Well, this wasn't in the instructions. I was told that there were two senior dogs that had to be let out. So I called the pet sitter once again. Hey, what's up with this visitor? Is, is he aggressive? Do I let him out of the crate? Right about that time, I hear, screech, screech, screech. When I entered the house, the alarm was set up. Oh. I, I, I thank God the pet sitter was still on the line with me. She gave me the code to disarm the house. She tells me, yes, the dog is a new, employee, a new addition to the family. She forgot to mention. He's fine. He just chews a lot. That's why he was in the crate. So I let them out. Okay. <sighs> this has got to get better after this. I'm on to stop three. I get there, slightly open the door, and see three wonderful sweet dogs wagging their tails, very happy to see me. Whew. Okay. The day is getting better. I take off my shoes like I normally do when I enter people's homes, push through the door to find <coughs> all over the place the guts of a pillow that one of the dogs had completely chewed up and scattered across three rooms. <laughs> okay, okay, it's my responsibility now to clean this up, I know. As I'm walking along, 
I see, or I'm thinking about the instructions which said, I needed to feed two of the dogs out in the garage. So what do I do with the third one? Do I not feed him at all? What if I'm the only stop and these people are out of town and I don't feed him and he goes hungry till tomorrow? What am I gonna do? As I'm cleaning up the pillow stuff, ah! literally an inch from my foot, a scorpion is coming towards me. <laughs> I have no shoes on. I find a heavy book, throw it down, squish the scorpion, and think, what if there are more? I better put my shoes back on. So there are times in life when the universe gives you a message so loud, there's no way of missing it. This was one of those times. Now I'm not one that shies away from things that are difficult or if there's a little bump in the road, but it was very clear that pet sitting was not the thing I needed right at the moment. <laughs> Therefore, going forward, I went back to my old faithful photography. I'm still challenged by the business aspect of it, but what I was enlightened to see is that everything has its challenges. So we either grow or die. Anyone know a business that might need a freelance photographer? <laughs> My cards are in the back. Thank you very much. <laughs>